Hi everyone, this is our talk on TAs as learners for the Teaching and Learning Symposium. We ran this training in CSC 108, which is a large course, lots of students and lots of TAs. We have lots of new TAs every term, many of them brand new to teaching, but we also have a small number of very experienced TAs. Um, but within that, we had a lot of room for improvement. We were getting complaints from students about not receiving effective help from TAs, getting complaints from TAs about feeling unprepared to help students. Most of our student TA interactions was in the form of one-on-one -on -one office hours, so not a lot of room for us as instructors to give um, specific feedback to TAs. And the way that we were meeting with TAs previously was kind of this fire hose information dump kind of thing. We would just blast them with an hour of information and hope for the best. Um, so what we wanted to do with our new TA training model was to, first of all, address those complaints, better equip our TAs to help students. Um, but also thinking a bit more broadly about what our TAs were looking for, we wanted to teach our TAs about teaching, especially useful for those who are thinking about an academic career path, to give them something uh, in terms of beginning to think about teaching as, as, a, as a practice. Um, we also wanted to have our TAs feel more engaged with the course, so to get to know each other, to feel more invested in the work they were doing. And we wanted this to be a positive experience for all of our TAs, including those very experienced people who had TA'd the course so many times already. So our new TA training, um, we use an active learning format, which I guess I should have thought of earlier, but having taught all our courses in an active learning format, I was still running my TA meetings as just a blast of information. So we moved to an active learning format. And to get the sense of community with the TAs, we created a lot of opportunities for them to learn from each other, recognizing the expertise they have when they come um, to this job. We also focused on what did they really need to know? What were the principles that would help them do good teaching versus trying to just tell them all this stuff without really motivating it for them? And a big theme through our training was that they were learning about teaching. So we told them explicitly that we did not expect them to know all the answers. We knew they were new to this. All we expected was that they ask if they weren't sure. Some of the elements of our TA training that were really important were um, reflection on past teaching and learning experiences. So this was a big one here. We had a lot of new teachers, but they were all very experienced learners. So they came with a lot of past learning experiences that we could draw from in terms of having them think about their work as teachers. We also wanted to introduce pedagogical terms and concepts to get them thinking about it in their TA work, but also to help them um, if they went on to do further teaching in their careers. We had some structured prep work, so activities that were designed to prepare them to come to the meeting and be productive. And all of this had small group discussion, and we always provided them with a little extra time in this discussion um, to let them get a little off topic, to give them time to get to know each other, to ask questions about what would you do in this case from their office hours, whatever they needed to talk about with their peers. And one other thing we had to address here that's more computer science specific is about who can learn to program. So we have some, some misconceptions that come along with our course. So about three quarters of our students in the course every term have no prior programming experience, but the majority of them think that they are the only ones like that. They think everyone else has programmed before. And actually, it turned out that even our TAs thought all of our students would have prior programming experience, despite this course being explicitly for beginners. And with this, the students, the TAs, some of the instructors, everyone, it seems, has some misconceptions of what a computer scientist looks like. And so that really impacted our students' sense of belonging and their, um, their kind of perception of their ability to learn to program. So we had to address that as part of our training. So some examples of the activities we had, um, we had think pair shares, quite a few of those. So one example is having them come up with both a positive and negative learning experience they'd had in the past, and to think about what it was that their teacher did that made that either positive or negative, and then to look for themes with the group. Um, we had a brainstorm, we got kind of silly. What does a programmer look like? Like what were the stereotypical things about a programmer? And we connected that to how not looking like that might impact a student's sense of belonging. And finally, we uh, created TA guides. So these were living documents that they collaborated on together to refer to during their office hours, where they could list frequently asked questions and anything else that might help them help students better. So that's our talk. Thanks for watching and we look forward to taking your questions.